Hello, my name is Rodanthe Zanelli and I am um, an Associate Professor of Sociology. I am based at um, the University of Leeds in the School of Sociology and Social Policy. Um, and uh, I just wanted to uh, share with you uh, some of uh, my recollections um, uh, from encounters that I had with John Eric, uh, some of them face to face uh, and uh, some of them virtual. Um, between 2000 and 2009, uh, I had several meetings with John. Um, we met first uh, when I was um, uh, just a, a history PhD student. Um, and I did eventually uh, defect uh, from history uh, and decided to become a sociologist. Uh, but at the time, in 2000, around 2000, I was uh, still struggling uh, with my PhD uh, and in particular with um, establishing a rationale uh, for um, the a a genealogy and an archaeology of uh, knowledge uh, in Greece and in Britain. I was doing my PhD on uh, 19th century Anglo-Greek encounters uh, and I was interested uh, in the institution of the history of um, the institution of knowledge. Uh, and uh, I met with John. At the time, uh, he was uh, still much influenced uh, by uh, the Foucauldian uh, approach, though he was not necessarily a Foucauldian. Uh, and uh, I remember him um, telling me uh, how, in fact, uh, we always uh, read the past from the present, uh, something that is very Foucauldian. Uh, at the time, I was uh, fascinated by uh, the tourist case uh, approach uh, that uh, uh, he adopted in uh, his uh, one of his famous books. Um, uh, but by 2002, when I graduated, I had decided that I wanted to become a sociologist, partly uh, because of um, my interaction with uh, scholars such as John, uh, and uh, I started publishing uh, first uh, in the media studies area. Um, I was very interested in um, uh, associations, uh, connections uh, between tourism uh, and uh, cinema uh, and uh, visual and digital cultures. Um, and I published uh, in this area between 2003-2004. Uh, my first papers. Um, so as a young postdoctoral uh, student, uh, I began to develop uh, partly along um, uh, John uh, and Scott Lass's work on economies of science and space, um, um, science industry model to un understand, interrogate, analyze uh, cinematic tourism uh, or film-induced tourism. Um, and in fact, uh, as a full-time academic, uh, when I started uh, interrogating the specificity of uh, and the regional origins uh, of global mobilities, including art, cinematic art, technology, uh, and social movements, uh, and migration, uh, I engaged a bit more with John's work um, and um, I did meet with him uh, several times, especially between 2006 and 2007. Uh, and um, we shared at the time uh, interest, especially in the field of tourism. Although John uh, had already moved on uh, to uh, begin work uh, on um, uh, what became the new mobilities paradigm. But in 2006, uh, I published uh, a paper in the first issue um, of mobilities, which was uh, one of the uh, big mobilities uh, journals um, and which was launched in connection with the establishment of the Centre for Mobilities Research at Lancaster. Uh, 
And in 2007, um, I was offered the first contract of my book, uh, my first book, The Cinematic Tourist, Explorations in Globalization, Culture and Resistance, which has been quite successful uh, in tourism uh, and popular culture areas. Uh, it was published with Routledge uh, and in the International uh, Library of Sociology uh, series, uh, when John uh, was uh, editor uh, of the series uh, at the time. Um, and in fact, I met with him. Uh, he was uh, quite excited uh, about the project. I met with him uh, in 2006 about it, um, and uh, he wished me good luck with it. Between 2007 and 2009, uh, as uh, uh, I was moving uh, in 2007 uh, from my first job at the University of Kent uh, to the University of Leeds, um, uh, I became also, um, I was invited to become visiting research staff at SIMO, uh, uh, where uh, in 2007 I co organized. Uh, an event, a symposium, uh, with Javier Caletrio, who is still based at CIMO, um, on uh, migration. Um, the theme uh, of the symposium was cosmopolitan paradoxes, migration and emergent systems of transnational rights. Um, I was very interested in uh, finding out more about migration uh, theory at the time uh, and uh, it was a great opportunity to be among scholars who were working um, on um, uh, relevant um, uh, themes uh, and in uh, the subject area. Now, uh, between 2009 and, and uh, 2010 and 2016, most of my interactions with John were uh, blended, mostly were online uh, by email. Um, and uh, I had already begun uh, to um, have my own voice. So um, I can tell you a little bit about uh, my own take also on uh, common interests that we have. Um, uh, one of them has to do with um, the idea of enlarged idea concept of economy. Um, and uh, for John, this um, uh, referred always to the Baudrillardian um, economies of science and space. Um, uh, which uh, were, uh, let's say, the predecessor or some of um, uh, his uh, uh, mobility standards. Uh, but I always understood uh, a little bit like John, mobility as a system uh, of, or rather multiple systems of multiple interconnected movements. Uh, interestingly, where I saw culture, and I was interested very much in cultural, rather than strictly speaking, political economies. John uh, always read politics and he read politics in my work as well. In 2013, uh, I um, uh, invited him to uh, endorse um, uh, one of my new books, Heritage in the Digital Era, uh, Cinematic Tourism and the Activist Cause. Um, and the endorsement that he provided, um, uh, which was uh, very generous as always uh, with John, um, uh, he, um, in this endorsement he um, uh, referred to uh, my innovation uh, on the politics of mobility. Um, and uh, as I understand it now, uh, he was referring probably to um, a broader politics in my work um, that is still there, the politics of the polis, of uh, the urban spheres and their atmospheres. Um, uh, my understanding um, of polis and politics as civic um, and cultural participation in the commons. Um, Generally, my own project focuses uh, on the mythopoetics of the visual, or at least originally did so, 
but uh, uh, slowly, especially more recent years, uh, um, I um, began to consider more and more uh, perhaps uh, uh, stepping outside uh, the um, tourist and cultural industrial context of uh, John's work. Um, I began to focus more on the fallacies. Uh, of the visual, especially in capitalist environments. So I became, I guess, a bit more and more openly critical uh, of the tourist gaze. Um, um, as uh, uh, my project has been an attack on the domination of the visual uh, in different cosmological registers, how the visual actually registers itself into different cosmological templates, um, into context, cultural contexts that um, uh, prioritize uh, other uh, sensory uh, outputs um, and uh, produce uh, their own uh, aesthetic discourses which are very different from the Western and the European uh, that uh, are always informed first and foremost by visuality. So I'm not really interested in the senses, I'm interested uh, in the aesthetic background of um, our um, encounters with the world. Um, and uh, in 2015 and 16, I published um, uh, three monographs um, in which I focus on uh, what um, uh, I call performative synesthetics um, uh, to capture this uh, performance uh, of aesthetics in uh, different cultural contexts uh, and the difference um, from um, Western and uh, uh, European uh, performances. Um, my politics spans uh, popular and elite discursive registers. Uh, so unlike Jones, uh, who um, was uh, very much focused on, on uh, the former cultural industrial context um, and a little bit uh, on how the tourists um, fit into them and how they interact with them. But really, uh, his um, focus uh, was always the industries, uh, first and foremost. And this is what the tourist case this is, is uh, very much about. Um, my politics uh, uh, focus uh, on um, how um, uh, popular uh, discourses uh, of uh, um, this um, tourist industries emerge as much as uh, how elite ones are formed. Um, we're influenced, of course, by the tourist gaze um, uh, and uh, John's work on uh, place consumption, uh, critical theory uh, and Foucault, uh, but uh, uh, there is um, a great dose of uh, uh, Judith Butler's critique uh, of uh, uh, what John uh, based theoretically uh, his work on because uh, it was a Foucauldian approach. Um, and uh, I am also interested very much, like John, um, uh, in environmental politics and mobilities. Um, and uh, John uh, did um, uh, some very interesting work, especially from uh, 2009, 2010, on environmental politics. Um, my overall project, uh, in short, um, is um, uh, that of thinking about uh, connections and disconnections between uh, what it means to be human uh, and the nature of our humanity. Um, and uh, I, I draw upon uh, understandings of uh, uh, being human in terms of gender, race uh, and class. Uh, so it is different, obviously, uh, from um, John's work, but there are connections there. Um, I devote most of uh, my current work um, uh, in urban contexts uh, in different uh, countries. Um, uh, my research uh, uh, spans uh, different continents, uh, 
um, uh, I uh, looked into uh, as diverse cases as uh, uh, those of Brazil, uh, South Africa, uh, uh, Greece, of course, um, Italy, uh, the UK, uh, especially Scotland, um, and also uh, Ireland, and Northern Ireland uh, in particular, uh, Australia uh, and New Zealand. Um, I can say my own goodbye uh, to Joan. Uh, I don't have any photographic mementos from Joan uh, as uh, Jian Ling requested. Uh, he liked to make non-representational pictures with his colleagues mostly. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, he would be photographed uh, but by others, but uh, I don't think he really liked uh, the informality of pictures uh, that uh, people uh, would ask him uh, to be in. Uh, so um, uh, I notice now that uh, uh, he was photographed in many conferences, for example, but uh, the intimate moments uh, perhaps uh, were not to his liking. Um, and uh, um, ironically, uh, I wanted to act as the camera gay, so perhaps uh, um, uh, this went against his custom. Uh, my thoughts are with his family and his partner. Um, uh, he was a very good, I think, and supportive colleague. Uh, he was an imaginative academic and always open to novelty. Uh, he was very good at listening uh, and very good at engineering innovation in scholarly environments. Um, and uh, a testimony to this, uh, uh, to um, centers uh, at Lancaster Social Futures, my more recent one in Seymour. Um, I believe they are left in very good hands, uh, in his colleagues' hands, uh, and with a glorious legacy. And so they have my best wishes uh, for the future. Thank you.